Numbers chapter 11 marks an interesting point in the journey of God's people through what's commonly known as their wilderness wanderings. Pastor and author David Guzik, well, he shares this insight about this chapter. He says, Israel, having been ordered, organized, cleansed, separated, blessed, taught how to give, reminded of God's deliverance, given God's presence, and the tools to advance into the promised land, now is on the march to Canaan. And immediately, the people complained. Another pastor, Pastor Brian Bell of a Calvary Chapel located in Marietta, California, he kind of organizes this chapter of complaints in this way. Verses 1 through 9, complaints against the bread. Verses 10 through 25, complaints against the burdens. And verses 26 through 35, even complaints against God's blessings. See, in this chapter, we see how Moses cries out on behalf of the people to relinquish God's judgment upon them. But then also later in the chapter, Moses complains about the role that God had given him to lead the people. And this chapter highlights God's provision to and for his people in spite of their complaining, but also ultimately the reality of God's judgment upon the people. Remember, Israel had been given God's presence and the tools to advance into the promised land, but they didn't. We know from scripture that this generation never entered the land God promised. They lack trust in God and thankfulness to God. See, listen, complaining and grumbling are cancerous to a faithful and fruitful life. That's why Paul says in Philippians 2, do everything without complaining and arguing so that no one can criticize you. Live clean, innocent lives as children of God shining like bright lights in a world full of crooked and perverse people. See, in your life and in mine, the promised land is a picture of a Christian life that even though is still filled with difficulty and challenge, is marked by fruitfulness and victory as we choose a lifestyle in which we trust God, thank God, and live for Him. This is the life God has for you and me. A life not free of challenge and difficulty, but a life of learning how to trust God in and through challenges, and to ultimately see God lead and guide and provide in His way, by His will, and in His time. So this morning, let me encourage you to see your challenges as opportunities for God to move in His way, in His will, in His time. And remember the lyrics to this beloved hymn. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. It'll surprise you what the Lord has done. When you're discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done.